I've seen the film and I was floored by your performance. I had no idea who Gene Seberg was because I grew up in Oakland, the Black Panthers. So I'm glad you brought that piece to the forefront. Telling her story, what was it about it that made you say, yes, I want to invest myself in this story? Um, I would have been thrilled to kind of cover any aspect of her life, which was really rich and multi-layered. And um, I think the most obvious version of this person in, in pop culture would be her in Breathless and her involvement in like, you know, French cinema and, and um, I just, I, it really blew my mind that we didn't know that she was ultimately like, yeah, like illegally surveyed and like then like, you know, became an expatriate not because she was like an eccentric strange actress but because she, her truth was never, was never told through any undistorted perspective that wasn't used against her because she was apparently a large threat to America in a time where, you know, um, being an activist for equality was just not not something that, that um, people in power were willing to accept. And uh, I just, I, I thought it was really crazy that that story was successfully submerged for so long. And anytime someone says like, oh, I had no idea that Gene Seberg was, yeah, exactly. Um, it's like, yeah, that's because nobody wants you to know that. Um, so I'm really happy to vindicate her in that way. Yeah. It was fantastic. I'm happy that you, as I said, you brought the story to here. Your chemistry with Anthony Mackie, it, I came cra crazy wild. How did you two develop that? Um, honestly, I, we just, he's just, I just like him. He's such a, you learn something from, every, from him every single day. He's really captivating and compelling. He's like really funny. I felt comfy with him. I felt like, um, uh, God, I don't know, like, there's something really great about Jean doing this thing where she, like, she just really wants to support a cause that she sympathizes with but has nothing really personally to do with. And I think, like, having Anthony on my side and telling this story, like, I just felt, like, um, so substantiated by him and how smart and invested he was. And he's such a good guy, honestly. Like, he's just a really good dude. And last, last question, Zazzy Beats, that connection you two had, how did you develop that? Because that was, you could feel the tension. Yeah. Um, I have, uh, I have real, literal respect for her um, in life. I feel like, um, I think honestly just doing that normal thing of placing yourself in, in those particular positions and what that might feel like, which would be really um, rightfully belittling and humbling and, and um, just like such a learning experience. Like I, I feel like there's, I could learn from her. So those scenes felt really natural to me. Thank you, thank you. Can I get one?